they will come to me with a deal. He says, sign and say if you're not bus next week. Hear me and say, man, you don't know, and next better than I represent, you know, Big Stone Television, you know. So just keep it locked. Because Big Stone is the real big man. You see me, I say. A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know the series continue where we honored and remembered the icons of yesteryear those who have gone way too soon those who have paved the way for reggae music to be this iconic music that is celebrated all over the world today I'm so happy to present one of my greats of greats, Jacob Killer Miller. Jacob Miller was a Jamaican reggae artist and Rastafari from Mandeville, Jamaica. His first recording session was with the famous Clement Sir Cox and Dad in the late 1960s. While pursuing a prolific solo career, he became the lead singer for the reggae group In the Circle. Miller recorded and toured with Inner Circle until he and his son died in a car accident in 1980. Miller was only 27 years old. But let's go to the early life of this icon. Born in Mandeville, Jamaica in 1952, he was the only son of Joan Ashman, a choir singer and pianist. He never knew his father. Desmond Elliott. As a child he was mainly raised by his great aunt. His mother recounts him having an especially friendly personality. One day in halfway three he threw all his money in the air to give away to friends. According to his mother he had a strong inclination towards music often playing rhythms with his hands or drumstick and pots pans and various items. In 1960, at the age of eight, he moved to Kingston, Jamaica. The move to Kingston would prove to be a seminal event in his life. Although still very young, Miller began spending much of his spare time hanging around the city's recording studio, most notably Clement Sir Cox and Dad, now famous Studio One. He was hoping to become the studio's next big child star. At just 13 years old, he recorded three songs at Studio One for Dad, but most notable, Love is a Message. The two brothers and owners of the rocket sound system, Horace and God Swaby, played the song often around the time of its release. Horace would later become famous under the stage name Augustus Pablo. Unfortunately for Miller, the song did not garner any real success, nor did it get much attention from Dad. However, it resulted in Horace Swaby befriending Miller and sparking an interest in him as a musician with potential. 
After the Swaby brothers launched their own labels in 1972, Horace, who had taken the stage name Augustus Pablo, recorded a version of Love is a Message called Keep on Knocking in 1974. In the next year and a half, Miller recorded five more songs for Pablo, Baby I Love You So, Falls Rasta, Who Said Jana Dread, Each One Teach One, and Girl Named Pat, each of which became a raucous classic with King Tubby's dub on their B-sides. These singles developed Miller's reputation as a great singer and their success ultimately drew Inner Circle to hire him as a replacement lead singer. Inner Circle was an emerging reggae group made popular playing covers of American Top 40 hits. Band leader Roger Lewis said Jacob Miller was always happy and jovial. He always made jokes. Everyone liked jokes. Added Miller as lead singer, the band's lineup was Roger Lewis on guitar, Ian Lewis on bass, Bernard Tauter Harvey on keyboards, and Rashid McKenzie on drums. Coining Miller as Jacob Killer Miller, the group continued to build popularity. In 1976, Inner Circle signed with Capitol Records and released two albums, Reggae Thing and Ready for the World. The first hit with Jacob Miller was Tenement Yard, followed by Tired for Lick Weed in a Bush. While recording, Miller continued pursuing a solo career, recording Forward Jaja Children, Girl Don't Come, produced by Gussie Clark, and Amanati, produced by Joe Gibbs. He earned second place in Jamaica's 1976 festival song competition with the song All Night Till Daylight and produced his first solo album in 1978, Dread Dread. While most of Miller's solo work were backed by Inner Circle members, his preferred rocker style diverged from the tendency of Inner Circle to experiment with other genres, including pop, soul, funk, and disco. The track which has brought in the most lasting recognition is the rocker standard King Tubby's Meet the Rockers Uptown with Augustus Pablo, a dub of Baby I Love You So, engineered by King Tubby. Other notable tracks with Augustus Pablo included Keep On Knocking, Fars Rasta, and Jose Jano Dread, all produced by Pablo. The album Jose Jano Dread featured two versions of each of these tracks, the original and a dub engineered by King Tubby. Miller was featured in the film Rockers alongside many other musicians including Gregory Isaac, Big Youth and Burning Spear. In the movie he plays the singer of a hotel house band, in reality in a circle, who are joined on drums by the film's hero Leroy Harsmouth Wallace and play a live version of Inner Circle hit Tenement Yard. In what were possibly his greatest performance of all time, Miller appeared at the One Love Peace Concert. The Peace Concert took place at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica on the 22nd of April 1978, along with many of the most popular reggae acts of the day, including Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Bonnie Wheeler, Hugh Roy, Junie Mawa, Dennis Brown, and others. The event drew countrywide attention because the two bitter political rivals, Edward Siaga and then Prime Minister Michael Manley, were to meet on stage and shake hands in front of Miller and in a circle, wrote a song for the concert titled Peace Treaty, which was a reggae interpretation of the popular folk tune when Johnny comes marching home. Jacob Miller and Inner Circle sets are featured prominently in the concert documentary film Heartland Reggae, which showcased the musical performances at the One Love Peace concert and chronicles the historical event of the aforementioned two political rivals shaking hands on stage. Miller played two separate sets at the concert, one at night on the main stage opening for Bob Marley and the Whalers 
and during the daytime the following day on a small stage in an open field near the National Stadium. In both set, Miller and Inner Circle played their new Peace Treaty song during the outdoor set as I lighted in the film Heartland Reggae. Miller brazenly donned a policeman hat and lit an enormous place until 2015 cannabis was still illegal in Jamaica followed by a cheers of the lights from the audience. In March 1980, Jacob Miller went with Bob Marley and Island Records founder Chris Brackwell to Brazil to celebrate Island opening new office in South America. Not long after returning to Jamaica, Sunday the 23rd of March 1980, Miller and one of his son died in a car accident on Oak Road in Kingston. Miller an inner circle has been preparing for an American tour with Bob Marley and the Wailers and the next album, Mix Up Mood, had been recorded before his death. Jacob Miller was the cousin of British reggae artist Max Priest. Every year his Christmas album goes on rotation during the holiday season in Jamaica and is enjoyed amongst Jamaicans abroad as well. Jacob Killer Miller. What an artist. To see Jacob Miller, his chubby self, jumping all over the stage and just taking his shirts off and just doing all kind of stuff. Jacob Miller was one of those exciting musicians, exciting singer, an artist that loved to sing and smoke his herb. That's why his big song, Dreadlocks can live in a tenement yard, too much. So, 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 so. Too much what you what you are, too much so 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 so, too much what you what you are. Jedlocks can smoke his pipe in peace, too much in pharma want to us it, too much what you what you are. Ha, 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 ha. Wow, I can't even lift those notes like the legendary Jacob Miller. But I just want to say to his family, gone too soon, gone too soon, 27 years old, he was just in the peak of his life, he wouldn't have been a huge artist of the likes of a Bob Marley, a Peter Tosh, a Jimmy Cliff, a Bunny Whaler. But guess what? It was not to be. We're still happy to know that Jacob Miller's song still plays in the dance hall today. He came and in such a very short time he conquered. He gave us a lifetime of music that we will cherish until the end of time. Jacob Killer Miller, a little boy from the country became this massive superstar. The only thing is, it's gone too soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so.